hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel on today's video we are making macaroni and cheese lasagna please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more recipes i hope you enjoy this to make this we're going to start with the meat sauce which will need some mince grated tomatoes oil some salt black pepper oregano some crushed garlic tomato paste curry powder beef stock and some chopped onions i will list all the ingredients in the description box below we start by frying our onion in enough oil until it is soft and then we add our garlic please know that garlic is optional not everyone is a fan so you may leave this step out if you don't like it we are then going to add our curry powder and then mix next is our oregano then mix you will notice that the mixture is gonna get fragment and then you will add your mince and then fry until browned I've decided to also add about a teaspoon of my favorite spice to the mince once your mince is browned, add your tomato paste and stir until everything is mixed together. Please follow my page on Instagram, Tato Cooks. I share more other recipes there. And I will leave the link on the description box. Once the mince has browned sufficiently, I'm going to add my grated tomatoes to the mix. And also if you want canned tomatoes they're still okay next i'm adding my two stock cubes I'm adding one spoon of brown sugar to balance out the acidity from the tomatoes. You don't have to do this if you like acidic things, but for me, I prefer some sugar. You are then going to add a glass of water and then stir and then leave the meat sauce to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium heat, not high heat. And then we're done. To cook your pasta, you're gonna follow the instructions on the packet. It should be easy, but please be aware that you don't overcook it. It should just be cooked to al dente. I cooked it for about only 7 minutes and it's ready. I'm then going to drain out the water and leave it to cool down on the side. I'm now starting with the bechamel sauce or white sauce. I will start by melting butter once it's all melted I'm going to add my cake flour and stir until it becomes like a paste and then I will add my milk to the pot and then stir until everything is mixed together please know that you have to like constantly stir it so that the sauce doesn't burn as you can see i'm using a wooden spoon it's perfect for for that you don't have to do this but i'm adding my grated mozzarella to the sauce it makes it even more richer and then a bit of oregano you don't have to add any salt to it it's fine as it is Now going back to the meat sauce, I'm going to add my black pepper and a bit of salt for taste. And then we're done with the meat sauce. This is the sauce, the shamel, and the meat sauce next to each other. We can now start with layering. I'm using a glass baking tray where I'm going to first add my pasta. As you can see, my baking tray is not that big, so I'm not going to add like all of it. I'm just gonna leave a little. And then next, I'll be adding my meat, meat sauce. 
just look at that it's so tasty I'm then going to spread out the meat sauce on like using a wooden spoon Next is the bechamel sauce. It has a bit of lumps because I had like placed it aside for quite a long time but it's very smooth in texture. So don't worry about it if it looks like that. Lastly and the most exciting part I'm adding my grated cheese. I used mozzarella. I think this is my favorite. Actually, I know mozzarella is my favorite and it goes very well with your lasagna. Would you just look at that? Like, I mean, <laughs> it's so good. As you can see, I added the rest of my ingredients in another baking dish. It's much smaller. I then went on to bake the lasagnas in... 180 degrees for about 40 minutes and then it was ready would you just look at that i mean i mean i don't even have to tell you that it tastes so delicious once it had cooled down i cut it into nine pieces I hope that you guys tried this at home and then let me know on the comments section or on my Instagram how it went. I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more and also like this video while you edit. Thank you for watching. Bye.